Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to implement uh, signing with Google with uh, Firebase. So I have already designed uh, uh, this application layout and we have uh, three activities. So this is a main activity and, that's it, and this is basically a splash screen. Then we have a sign in activity where uh, we let our user uh, sign in with Google. And we have a dashboard activity where we show uh, users information here like uh, photo, uh, ID, name and uh, email address. Alright. So uh, that's all ready and this project will be available for you to download in the video description. Okay, so first let's uh, open up uh, Firebase Assistance. Okay, and uh, here let's uh, choose this authentication and choose email and password. So don't worry uh, if this says email and password, we're actually going to uh, create a signing with Google. So uh, here uh, you need to uh, add project and it will automatically populate this uh, input field. So click continue, then uh, click continue, then here just uh, check those two check boxes and click create project. Okay, so that might take a while for you and after that uh, click continue. Okay, just wait a little bit, click connect and uh, you will see this message. So next uh, we need to navigate to our uh, console. So console.firebase.google.com and here we need to select our newly created application. Okay, so next click uh, authentication from the menu on the left and uh, first let's go to our Android Studio so we can finish uh, this. So let's add uh, authentication dependencies here. Click uh, accept changes and uh, wait. Okay, so that's uh, set up correctly. So now uh, we can uh, switch to project view and here we are going to see this Google services uh, JSON file. So this is uh, automatically added by a uh, Firebase and we don't need to add that uh, manually anymore. Okay, so here uh, inside our Firebase console, click a sign in method here and we need to enable Google. So just uh, click this toggle button and select your uh, project email address and click save. Okay, so there is uh, only one more thing which uh, we need to uh, add here and uh, click this project settings and uh, down below. So as you can see, we can uh, manually download this Google uh, services JSON file, but we already have that. So we are not going to that add that manually and we need to add the uh, SHA-1 fingerprint. So how can we generate that? So it's uh, very easy. Click this Gradle and uh, from the task select build or sorry Android and then double click on this signing report. So here uh, it will uh, automatically generate the SHA-1 key for you. So copy that key and paste that in your uh, Firebase console. So let's uh, paste that here and uh, click save. So that's it. Uh, we have uh, properly uh, set up our um, sign in with Google and we can uh, leave that uh, as it is for now. Okay, so uh, open up this documentation for uh, sign in with Google. I'm going to put the link in the video description as well. So here, uh, as you can see, we have all the codes uh, we can add to our uh, project and we don't need to write that uh, manually. So we're going to copy that and uh, first let's go to our uh, Android Studio and first we're going to start with the main activity, okay? So here, uh, what I want to do, I want to add a handler, okay? And I want, I want to use a post delayed, so I want to run some code after uh, two seconds of delay, okay? So first let's uh, initialize a Firebase auth Okay, and we're going to actually in initialize that inside our on create method. So, uh, okay, let's initialize that Firebase auth dot get instance, and then, okay, let's create another variable user, and we're going to store a current user inside our user variable. So I'm going to say now here if user is not null. So basically that means that. Um, uh, we are actually logged in. So uh, if a user is uh, already logged in to our application, then we want to navigate our user to our dashboard activity. Okay, and in else block, we want to navigate our user to sign in activity instead. So basically that means uh, if a user is uh, uh, already signed in, then we need to navigate our user to uh, dashboard activity from our splash screen and uh, else we want to navigate uh, our user to uh, sign in uh, activity so user can uh, first authenticate with the Google, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. And this is just uh, our splash screen for a main activity. So let's run our application to see. Okay, so uh, select uh, app here instead. And now let's run application again. Okay, so we have uh, this splash screen and after two seconds, uh, user will uh, navigate to our uh, sign in screen.
okay because uh, our user is uh, not authenticated yet okay so uh, that's it for our main activity for now so let's close that and we're going to start with our sign-in activity okay so first here uh, we need to create a firebase auth object as well so a late int var and we're going to initialize that uh, inside our on create method and below that uh, we need to use a google sign-in uh, client but as you can see um, our android studio does not recognize this google sign-in so that's because uh, we forgot to add uh, one more uh, implementation in our gradle build file so let's uh, open up our uh, documentation for uh, official documentation for uh, sign-in with google and uh, here uh, you will see this uh, gms play service auth and just copy this and uh, let's add that inside our uh, gradle build file so we already have a firebase auth dependency and here i'm going to write uh, firebase and also i'm going to copy and cut this uh, firebase auth and paste that here so we can see that more clearly okay sync your project and uh, that's it so now uh, when we get back to our signing activity and when we try to uh, call our uh, uh, google signing client our android studio will uh, recognize this time and click alt plus enter to import this okay so that's fine for now and here from this uh, documentation we want to copy this code uh, this google signing options and we want to add that inside our on create method here first okay so let's paste that and alt plus enter to import this and uh, below that we want to initialize our google signing client so we want to use a uh, google sign in and uh, its method uh, uh, get client so alt plus enter okay and here we need to pass two parameters so the first one is context and the second one is a google sign in options and we have already added that above so here uh, where it says uh, our string default web client id uh, that's basically the id from our google uh, json services uh, file which uh, firebase added uh, automatically for us so if you have an error here saying that this uh, string does not exist you just need to rebuild your project and that's it and uh, below that we are just initializing our firebase auth so next uh, let's scroll down a little bit and let's copy this uh, sign in method so this method uh, will be used on our on click listener uh, for our button so let's copy that first and uh, let's add that uh, method uh, below our on create method so here uh, where it says red for rc uh, sign in so that means we need to create um, constant so uh, private const val and let's name that uh, like that and uh, we were going to give the value of uh, 120 and this is just an example you can say uh, any number you want so basically now we're going to add uh, our uh, on click listener for our button so our button has the id of sign in button and basically what this sign in uh, method does it basically will prompt our user to um, to sign in with uh, um, his uh, or her email uh, google uh, account and uh, that's basically it so when our user click this sign in uh, our application will prompt our user to sign in with uh, Google account okay so now below that we're going to paste this code for uh, on activity result so uh, basically in our sign in method here above uh, we are using intent and we're using start activity for result method so that means uh, when our user sign in then we want to receive a callback from uh, that inside our on activity result method okay and inside the on activity result method uh, we want to check uh, if uh, our user has uh, signed in uh, successfully or not so as you can see here okay we have this uh, request code as you can see that's the same code from above and uh, okay we have this try uh, catch block so there is one more thing i want to add here so i'm going to create uh, one more variable here so let's name that variable exception and i'm going to get uh, exception from this task object and store inside this variable uh, i'm going to create another if block and i'm going to say if the task is successful then i'm going to execute this uh, try and catch block okay so only if uh, the task is successful we're going to execute that and in else block i will i will just add a simple log text log message let me just change this uh, log tag to sign in activity okay and i'm going to uh okay just remove this line of code let's copy this log and paste it here so we're going to just change this uh, value so i'm going to use this exception uh, variable and i'm going to convert that to string okay so uh, that's it for now and uh, you can see this uh, firebase auth with google uh, method down below which is uh, pointing red so that means we need to create this uh, method and uh, we're going to do that uh, in just a moment so uh okay i think uh, everything uh looks fine here for now so don't worry this project will be available for you to download in the video description i will prepare that for you 
And uh, now let's scroll down below until we find this uh, Firebase Auth with Google method. Okay, let's copy that one. And let's paste that just below our on activity result uh, method. So here. All right. So first click Alt and enter to add this uh, Google Auth provider. And uh, we can see this uh, red for our Auth. So uh, we should rename this Auth to M Auth because that's the name of our uh, Firebase Auth object. So let's remove this update UI. We don't need that. We don't need the uh, snack bar as well. We just need uh, those uh, log messages. And uh, I'm going to change those uh, tags to say uh, sign in activity because we are located at the sign in activity. Okay, all right. And uh, here, um, let's say M auth, but still I'm going to remove this uh, line of code for uh, getting the current user because we don't need that uh, at this point, but that's okay. So basically, as you can see, we have called this uh, Firebase auth with Google from our uh, on activity result method above. Okay, so if our task is successful, only then we are calling this uh, Firebase auth with Google and we are passing uh, this ID token here and we are using that ID token to create the credentials and with those credentials we are actually signing in our user. Okay, and we're going to see all the, all the necessary uh, data from our user uh, in our application and inside our Firebase console. So now uh, let me remove this line of code for uh, mauth. Okay. And uh, now I want to add uh, here intent. So if the task is successful, I want to navigate uh, this user to dashboard activity. Okay, so just start the activity and pass the intent. All right, so let's run our application to see how uh, all that looks so far. So as you can see, we are navigated to our sign-in activity because we are not authenticated yet. And when we click this sign-in uh, with Google, it will prompt us uh, to choose our uh, Google account. But we can uh, close this dialog and let's open that again. So let's select our uh, email address. So this is just an example email which I have created. And as you can see, now we are automatically navigated to our dashboard screen. And here uh, we want to show uh, this user's uh, profile information. And we're going to do that uh, in just a moment. So as you can see, everything works fine from splash screen. Now we're navigated to our dashboard instead because we are authenticated this time. And when I click back button, as you can see, I am navigated to this splash screen and that's not good. So we're going to fix that by adding a finish method here inside our if block after uh, we are starting the intent. And we're going to repeat that step in our main activity as well. Okay, so let's open main activity and here let's add finish and just below that as well. Okay, so everything w should work fine now and as expected. So after splash screen, we are navigated to our dashboard because we are uh, actually signed in. So when we uh, click back button and open this application again, as you can see, everything works fine. So uh, that's a good thing. And let's try that again. So basically our uh, app is now restarted and uh, splash screen is uh, starting as uh, expected. Okay, so let's close this uh, main activity. And uh, from the dashboard activity, we want to get the data from our user and uh, set that data to our text views. So let's create a Firebase auth object and let's uh, get the instance of uh, Firebase auth. Uh, next, I'm going to create um, a variable current user and I'm going to get the current user from our Firebase auth uh, object. So next, uh, what I want to do, as you can see, when we go to our uh, layout file, we can see these uh, IDs of those uh, text views. Okay. So now I want to use this uh, ID text and I'm going to set the text and I'm going to use uh, current user object and get the UID. Okay, so I'm using this question mark because this uh, is a nullable. Okay, so next let's set the name text. Okay, with display name and the email address as well. So let's get the email address from our current user object. And now let's run an application to see uh, how will that work. Okay. And there it is. So we can see the ID of this uh, Google account, the name and the email address. So uh, everything works fine. And even when we check in our uh, Firebase console, uh, we will see this uh, Google account. So as you can see, it appeared uh, right on this page and we can see the uh, date created, date uh, signed in and the uh, user ID. So basically, uh, whenever user sign in in our application, we're going to see uh, our user's information right here in our Firebase console. Okay. So next, uh, we want to display our uh, photo, our uh, user profile image to our application. So to do that, we need to add a dependency for our Glide uh, library. So here I'm going to copy this implementation and paste inside our uh, Gradle build file. 
Okay, so let's save the glide here and let's paste that. So sync the project. Okay, and now uh, we're going to uh, copy one line of code for this uh, glide library, which will allow us to uh, actually display this uh, image from the URL. So let's scroll down a little bit until we find this. Okay, so here it is, glide with. Okay, let's copy that and paste inside our project. So basically, we're going to get the URL of this uh, profile image and we're going to display that into our image view. So here, instead of this hard-coded string, let's add a current user and let's find a photo URL, okay? And here, let's pass our uh, image view. So I have used uh, this uh, circle image view. So the ID is a profile image, okay? And now, let's run our application to check it out. Okay, we have a splash screen, and there it is. So we have grabbed this uh, profile image as well. So everything works fine. Uh, and there is uh, one more thing which I want to show you, and that is uh, how to sign out the user. Okay, so because uh, when we go back and when we run our application, our user will be uh, signed in until we explicitly sign out. So we need to add that option as well. So to do that, let's add a simple button here. So let's connect those constraints, uh, left, right, and top. So let's customize this a little bit. Let's change the button ID to uh, sign out button. Let's change the text for our button to sign out. And let's add uh, this uh, text all caps to false, okay? So here inside our dashboard activity, I'm going to add the on click listener for this uh, sign out button. Okay, so here I'm going to use a Firebase auth object and its method sign out. So after we sign out, I want to um, use intent to navigate this uh, user to sign in activity, okay? Because our user is now signed out. And I'm going to call a finish method. So let's run application to see if uh, everything works as expected. Okay, so we are currently signed in. And when I click uh, sign out, we are going to be redirected to this sign in activity. And when we press this back button, as you can see, the application exits. And now when we open that again, our application restarts and we get navigated to this sign-in screen again. But this time, when we click this sign-in button, it will automatically recognize the user or the email address we used earlier and it will switch to our dashboard activity. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful, of course, and uh, see you in the next one.